Minecraft. Etho posted another speed challenge this morning, and so of course I had to put everything aside in order to do Minecraft speed challenge number four, the color wheel, where we're going to try to get all the different colors of wool as fast as possible. I confess that I actually tried this a number of times, and so you are just seeing one of my attempts here. Am I going to finish? Well, you're going to have to watch to the end to find out. But it's definitely the case that this is a very tough challenge, and in all the previous challenges, basically I died or was going to go way over time uh, and just decided to give up. Um, yes, finding lapis lazuli in a speed challenge can be actually surprisingly difficult. Um, in one of the previous challenges, I did find a dungeon and found cocoa beans, but I found brown sheep in a number of times when I was just exploring in the overworld. Uh, and so yeah, the lapis and the brown wool are the two things that are the hardest to come by. But let's go ahead and get started and see how this particular attempt turns out. This is Minecraft speed challenge number four, the color wheel. And so I am creating a new world. Generating level, building terrain. All right, we're in a new Minecraft world that has a little bit too much ice for my liking, but it does have some red roses, which are one of the things that I will need. So the goal is to create all the different colors of wool. And so in order to do that, you need a number of different ingredients from both above and below ground for dyes for the different colors of wool. Uh, red roses, obviously, yellow dandelions. We'll need some cactuses from a desert biome in order to create the cactus green. Some lapis, uh, which is found deep underground and will be, oh, oh my gosh, brown sheep. Brown wool is like the hardest thing to get uh, because you either have to find a brown sheep, which are relatively rare, or uh, you need to find a dungeon and get some cocoa beans, and so that was extremely lucky. Uh, so now the hardest thing is definitely going to be the lapis, which admittedly is still going to be a challenge because I have to go underground. Uh, I'm starting, you know, just from a fresh world, and so I don't have armor. Brian is not a great fighter, and so going underground is definitely going to present some challenges. But I have some time above ground during the day to get prepared, and so we'll try to do that. Let's see, I need to go ahead and create a crafting bench, as well as some sticks, so that I can create my initial tools. Do 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 do. I will create a pick, and I'll even create a wooden shovel, even though that's pretty crummy. Actually, no, I'll hold on to this. I'll just use the pick and go find some stone and make some better tools. All right, and I see some exposed stone over here, so that's good, as well as over here. Is there any coal on the side of the face? I don't see any there. I see more red roses, actually. And I'm going to need, I think, like, I don't know, eight res red roses or something for all the colors. I didn't work out exactly how much of each thing I need. But I definitely need more red than I do yellow. All right, so I should be good in terms of that. There was some stone over here. Oh, is this even, like, entering a cave system? Uh, nope. But there is coal. All right, great. So I will get that in a moment. Let's go ahead and plunk down the crafting bench again. This time make a stone pick. Which I'll be able to get through a lot quicker. And now I'm going to mine the coal and some more stone. So yes, now that I have brown wool already, which was, again, very fortunate, uh, finding flowers is not a problem. Finding cactuses does mean you need to find a desert biome, and sometimes you end up walking the earth a while trying to find one. And so that could be a problem. We'll just have to kind of wait and see. Um, and then lapis lazuli is, I'm going to have to go deep into the earth. Uh, and so that kind of spelunking always carries a lot of risks. And I won't be all that well prepared. If I happen to find a nice kind of iron ore vein here somewhere near the surface, I might be able to prepare myself with some iron armor. I should spend some time above ground basically trying to kill some pigs and cows in order to get uh, some other food like that. I'll go ahead and turn this into sticks now to go ahead and create other tools that I need. So I am going to need a stone shovel. I am going to need a axe so that I can cut down some trees. 
I'm going to need another pickaxe because definitely one pickaxe is never going to be enough for the whole game. And finally, I will need an iron sword so that I can kill bad guys and good guys above the surface. Okay. And I'm going to leave the crafting bench behind and just go cut down a lot more trees rather than spend the time to recollect it. And so I see a bit of kind of icy kind of biome to my left, which is not good, uh, either for you know finding the flowers or definitely for eventually finding cactus. So I guess I'm going to head over in this direction. And yeah, as I'm spending time above ground, hopefully keep my eye out for some pigs that I can kill, uh, or some cows. And, oh, I forgot to t start a timer at the beginning of this, darn. So I have no idea how far in I am. Usually with the speed challenges, I have my little audio timer going in the background. Well, at some point, night will fall, and then day will come, and we'll see how we're doing. Let's try to get over the hill here. I think I have enough red roses at this point. Definitely more trees over here, so that's good, because I'm going to need it for the wood. I don't see any desert biome and cactuses yet. And I don't see pigs and cows. Just something else I really need. Because, yeah, when I go downstairs, on the one hand, I want to avoid enemies so that I can stay alive, and on the other hand, I need to kill some skeletons, because you need bone meal for a number of the wool dye recipes. And so that will be a challenge as well. All right, here's some yellow flowers. So that is good. And I just saw a sheep out of the corner of my eye, I think. So I don't need to kill the sheep now. I can wait until I go ahead and get some iron and create some shears. But for now, let's just stock up on wood so that I have enough of that in my inventory. And I think on the order of like 20 to 25 pieces of wood, I got one more little tree over here. Okay, and there and I see a pig. So I'm going to go kill the pigs. All right. In order to get some food on hand. Give me pork chops, please. Yay, pork chop. And then if the sheep is directly in my way, I might as well kill it. And there's a light gray sheep. And that's one of the other wool colors. So I might as well kill him as well. And... In preference to the pig, if there's a bunch of iron, I might be able to make some iron armor, and that'll help me stay alive even better. Alright, so there's some iron, which is good. I still hear the pig, and so I'm going to try to get some more food. And it would be good for me to go ahead and create some torches... Uh, while I'm thinking about it... Oh, I already have plenty of sticks. Just so I have some on me, so I'm ready to go when night falls. I'm going to hold on to that for when I create a furnace. Make sure I have food in my hot bar. And continue walking around. Okay, and so I still need yellow flowers, so let's go ahead up a few of those. I don't think I need very many yellow flowers. Um, so I think four is probably enough. And we're kind of in some high ground over here. Can I see? I've been kind of wandering. I don't know if I'm wandering in circles uh, trying to find the desert. Yeah, because I think I saw those pumpkins before, and so I think I'm not really going in useful directions. And that is not leading into a cave system. Where is the sun at this point? The sun is starting to go down, so we're probably at about nine minutes. And so I should consider... Yeah, finding a cave system entrance. Okay, that I can light up a little ways. There's some more iron, and here's some more coal. So I'm going to use these things while there's still a little bit of daylight, and then prepare to go downstairs to get some lapis lazuli. Okay, and so let me grab this iron 
quickly smelt some of it to make some armor, as well as a pair of shears that I'm going to need for tomorrow. Okay, now I think I have like 16 pieces of iron, so I'm in good shape there. And then I think I will go ahead just for protection and wall myself in and then start digging down and we'll see how this goes. Oops. All right, let me put out a crafting bench. Oops. Let me build a furnace. And then I will start smelting some iron that I can use for various things. And then while that is smelting, I will start digging down and hope that we can find some lapis, as well as just one or two skeletons and hope to get, I think I'm going to need three bones for all the bone meal that I'm going to need. Oh, here's more iron. Wow. Given what a poor fighter I am, I don't mind having as much iron armor as possible. So I will grab all of that and add it to my furnace. Drop in another piece of coal there. And actually, if I already have four, I'll go ahead and make some boots real quick. Do -do 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 -do. Put on those boots. Okay, continuing to dig down. Oops. Don't want to actually dig down and fall into a hole. I might have to create an iron pick as well. Uh, I forget if this is my second pick already or this is still my first. Oh, here's more iron. Wow. At some point, the iron will become a waste to mine. But until I get a little bit more armor, I'll consider it still useful to go ahead and mine it. Because this is the part that I think is going to be the most difficult, basically. Being able to spelunk long enough in order to find... Uh, the lapis that I need to get. So let's go bring that up. Oops. Where is my... Here we go. And I can still hear the surface above here, so I'm not that deep yet. Let's go ahead and... Do this. I'll create some iron armor. Great. Oops. Put that on my person. Okay, and now that I'm fairly well armored, I'll also go ahead... I do have another stone pick in reserve, but it'll be a whole lot faster to work with an iron pick, and so I will go ahead and create an iron pick. And then I want to make sure that I have at least two pieces of iron on me in case I end up leaving the rest of that behind so that I'll be able to make shears. And I haven't been counting how far down I've been going. Lapis is found best between kind of layers 17 and 19, although it's found kind of anywhere below layer 32. Uh, but the best thing would obviously be to find a cave system, uh, because once I find a cave system, then I can just uh, spelunk all around and cover a lot of ground very quickly in order to find the lapis that I need to find. And since I did find one more cache of iron, I'm going to go ahead and cook this up, and then we're really going to get moving. Oops, crap. Since I screwed up my staircase, that's going to slow me down each time. Okay, and I will take one more piece of armor. Okay, 
Armor will help keep Brian alive. Now we just need to dig and find the things we need to find. So I think I just went down like about 20. And so it's possible that, I don't remember how far down in the cave we were before I just started with my furnace. Okay, I'm going to ignore the iron from now on. But hope that I start finding other ores. If I see gold, I know I'm down to 32. Uh, level 32, I believe. And like I said, Lapis ideally is around level 20. So if I end up getting down to the lava layer or to the bedrock, I'll know I've gone too far. But more so, I just want to find a cave system, unless I happen to get really lucky and just stumble onto some la lapis right in my stairwell. But that would be extremely lucky if that were to happen. Oh, and I hear... Okay, I hear something splashing. I hear a skeleton splashing around. And I do need to kill some skeletons. As scary as they may be. And so it sounded like he was to my left. Sorry, this is getting dark. I'm trying not to waste torches as much as I typically do in my Let's Play, because I want to keep everything very well lit for YouTube. Now resources are a little bit more important to kind of preserve. And where did those skeleton noises go? Uh, I could just barely hear it off in the distance. I worry that he might have been above me rather than below me. Well, I can still just barely hear a skeleton. Alright, I am hearing him a little bit more. And I'm starting to run a little bit low on torches, and so I will create some more. And I will make sure that I have some more sticks ready for when I need them. And now, let's try to go find the skeleton, this cave system, and hopefully some lapis. Where are you, Mr. Skeleton? Now he's getting quieter again, darn it. So I will confess that I've tried this speed challenge a number of times, and finding Lapis has always been the... Okay, I see redstone, so I am down at a good layer. Finding Lapis has always been the stumbling block, the challenge for me. Uh, I guess finding Lapis and staying alive, uh, basically because I'm down spelunking, and I haven't yet, in my attempts at the speed challenge, been able to find Lapis. Uh, I have either gone way over time or died at the hands of skeletons and zombies and whatnot, and even lava a couple of times. Oh dear, I need to find a cave system. And all those sounds disappeared. I am pretty happy with the level that I'm digging at, based on the ores that I see around. But I need to find a cave system, or I just need to get really lucky and stumble on some lapis. And even my iron pick is about to run out here. That's really bad. Well, there's more iron. Ha. Huh. Might end up smelting a little bit more of it and making even more. Ah! What a waste of time. Let's do that to have that kind of as a backup, and then only take about 30 seconds to create another furnace real quick. Go ahead and have some more iron at the ready for when my iron pick runs out, so I can make another one. Because then once I find the lapis, I guess I still... I didn't find a cactus upstairs yet, right? Um walking around above ground, looking for that, hopefully won't take too long. And there are plenty of ores down here. I've, I've seen uh, redstone and obviously iron, coal. 
Let's go ahead and create another iron pick so that we can keep moving pretty fast. But I really need to find a cave system so I can find some lapis. try digging a staircase back down so that hopefully I can reach the lava layer and just verify what level I'm at. Oh! Found the lava! Alright, so that's layer 10. I'm standing on 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, I'm actually at a pretty good level. I haven't heard any enemies or anything over in that direction. Uh, it would not hurt to go ahead and have some pork chops cooking as well. And let me just try going in a different direction. Hope I get lucky. Because, yeah, I'm around level 16, 17, and so that's just about idea for ideal for looking for lapis. And I was fortunate that I didn't accidentally fall in the lava when I saw it. some redstone in the way here. Ugh. I don't even know that I'm going to need this food at this rate. Still haven't heard any enemies. Since I don't have the timer going, I have no idea how long I've been below ground. Like, it's possible that the night has already ended and we're back into daytime. Uh, and I'm like over 20 minutes at this point, and then I would be in real trouble in order to be able to complete the challenge in 30 minutes or less. Lapis, Lapis, where are you? I need to find you. I need to mine you. So I've seen coal, I've seen redstone, I've seen lots of iron. Lapis is pretty rare, but uh, I need a cave system so that I can make more progress more quickly. digging around at random at this point. Tons of iron. But I would give it all up for some lapis. Diamonds! Apparently I'm a little too low. Well, I could really well equip myself at this point. Um, yeah, let's see. All right, I guess I should start digging up a little bit, because I found diamonds. i got to be at least at layer 16 or something. So let's go up a few layers. Oh, 
Oh, I hear water. That's good, so it's possible that I'm getting over to a cave system area. I guess while I'm thinking about it, since I have six diamonds now, the correct thing to do is to create diamond tools like so and like so for fighting enemies. I can throw that away, I can throw that away, I can throw that away, and a diamond shovel. And maybe I'll even successfully throw away some of those items. All right. Okay, and so I've gone up a few levels, and so I'm at a good level. Although I hear some water nearby, so if I can find that water... Oh, and I hear a spider. It's hard to listen directionally for spiders, but that's a good sign. <gasps> Lapis! Okay. And my inventory is full because I've got all these stupid items. Out, out. Okay, I've got 15 lapis. And now, since I have a diamond pick, I guess I just, I'm just going to try to get back to the surface. Uh, I think it'll be quicker to dig up than it will be, since I have all these great tools, than it will be to try to find my way back up the way I came. So I'm just going to try to quickly dig back up. What is the state? Okay, I don't have... Gosh, I've got so much stuff, I need to actually throw away some inventory so that I can see what I have. All right, throw all this stuff down the stairs. Okay. Uh, and so I have the flowers. I don't have the cactus yet, and so I'm going to need to find a desert. Yeah, I have no idea if we end up uh, having wasted the entire day. Uh, it might be too late because then I'll go into the second day and I'll be past 30 minutes. Basically, at this point, I think all I need to do is find some sheep, uh, which is easy to do to get the wool, and then find the cactus and make the dyes. So there's still a little bit of crafting to do. Um, but I have all of the materials other than the wool at this point, I believe. Oh, and it's taking far too long to get to the surface. I'm wasting like another full minute just carving my way back up, probably. So I'll bet we'll get back to the surface and it'll already be dark from the next day, and that will suck. Oops. Change directions specifically to avoid hitting the torch, and then I still hit the torch. There's always a chance that I'm accidentally going to come up like under a mountain or something. And so I might be, oops, crap, wasting some of my digging here. Okay, maybe, maybe dirt means I'm getting close. Am I at the surface yet? No, still more stone. And I haven't heard any sounds of like stuff walking around on the surface yet. Oh, there's some, okay, I hear stuff walking around on grass. So I'm definitely getting close. So, come on, daytime. All right, it is still daytime, great. The sun is going down ahead of me, it looks like. Uh, yes, all right, so I need to find a desert. And I need to find sheep and crap. I didn't even make my uh, shears yet. I should have just gone ahead and crafted them uh, when I had the chance earlier. So let's go ahead and make sure that I have some shears on my person so that when I see the sheep I can shear them. So I'm looking for sheep and I'm looking for a desert and I think I see a sheep over here. Nope, that was a chicken. Just saw something white and bouncy. Uh, ooh, fall damage that way. Although at this point I can actually... Oh right, shears! Haha! -ha. 
afford fall damage if it'll help me go faster. There's some pumpkins. But yeah, if we're near the end of the second day, then we're right around. There's a creeper. All right, I don't see a desert in this direction. I guess I need to get up here and see if I can see a desert. Any okay, here's some sheep. So I can finally get some of the wool I need. Oops, how do I get the right click? Right, okay, great. Right click on the sheep. So unfortunately, the sun's going to start going down, and then I'm not going to be able to see anything, and then we're going to be toast. And I still haven't found a desert. All right, here's more sheep. So I only need like 14 pieces of wool or something, because I already have a couple of colors. So I'll hit one more sheep here and then see how much wool do I got. I've got 11. Still need to keep looking out for sheep. Uh, but I really need to find the desert and the cactus greens so that I can make a furnace and cook up the cactus green. Yuck, 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 yuck. So yeah, I'm not going to make it. Oh, and I don't have the bones for the bone meal. And I just heard skeletons over here dying in the sunlight somewhere. Did he come out of here? Where did I hear the skeleton? Dying in the sunlight somewhere, but it must be farther away than here. And now the sun is starting to go down. Rats, rats, rats. I still hear skeleton. Ah, there it is. Okay. Well, I need to get over here and... Yep, deal with that. Okay, in order to get the bones that I need... And sadly, I only have one bone so far. Oh, here comes another skeleton. Where is he? There he is. So the diamond tools are actually helping out. I don't know that I got another bone, though. So yeah, I still only have one bone for bone meal, so that is pretty bad. Yeah, I'm in bad shape, and I'm way over time. But I would be happy to finish the challenge at this point. Uh, and so I need to keep uh, looking for a desert at night. I need to go ahead and eat some pork to make sure they stay healthy. Okay, and so now it's just about, can I find a desert to find the cactus green? So I'm just going to try to run in one direction. Hope that I don't get into any deadly tangles. Although I probably will. Well, hopefully they won't be deadly, or if they are deadly, they'll be deadly for the other guys, and not for me. I see some sand over here, but this might just be a beach on the water as opposed to an actual desert biome. And we are definitely far enough along that enemies are spawning, and it's becoming very difficult for me to see. I apologize for however the video is going to come out. I see a skeleton. I'm just going to run from him. No, I need to fight him. That's right, because I still need more bones. Uh, bones! All right, I think I picked up another bone or two. I didn't see where that guy was. Since I've been standing still, I just want to make sure I... Oops. Start running. There's... Oh, dear. Ah. Yep. Well, there's going to be a bit of that. Uh, my game seems to be lagging up because that torchlight took a minute to kick in. Oh dear, I can't tell. I see creepers over there. Alright, I'm just going to keep heading in this direction and hope that I find a desert. Hello from the future. Uh, this is Future Brian telling you that I do eventually find the desert and find a cactus, but it's going to take me another 25 minutes. And rather than show you 25 minutes more of me wandering the earth looking for the desert, I'm just going to edit things down to kind of the highlights to get a feel for how the rest of things went. And so this will be much shorter than the 25 minutes, but you'll at least get a feel for almost the entire time I'm just wandering the earth trying to find a desert to find a cactus to get some cactus green. Yeah, for all I know, I'm like passing right by a desert somewhere over here, and I just can't see it. Oh, no, 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 oh, my goodness. All right, well, hooray for armor. Um, all right, apparently I just exploded over here, and so I'll head back over in this direction. And, uh, oh, it's kind of a dead end. I need to climb up this hill.
All right, somewhere in the world. Oh, it's a black sheep. That's more wool that I could use. Pardon me. I'll take that. Yoink. Oh, yeah, because I'm going to need... Right, I need to find squids if I'm going to find, so it'll be good to be walking along the coast in case I see any squids. Um, but I really need to find a desert and find some cactus. Hello, desert and cactus. Well, I said at the beginning that deserts can sometimes be hard to find, and you just have to walk through a bunch of biomes to find them. I didn't expect by the end of it that the desert was going to be the long pole, the hardest bit to complete in this particular challenge. But as it turns out today, that just seems to be how it goes. Some kind of little cave system or something over there. All right, I've got some high ground up here where I can get a nice look and survey the land and see if there's a desert anywhere. All right, I see some more ice and snow over there. Ah. Let's let the world generate for a moment. I see another snow biome coming up. Where are the deserts? I just need cactus. I didn't encounter any. It's not like I've had it in my inventory the whole time, right? Right. All right, I'm clearly aiming for like an hour rather than 30 minutes now on the speed challenge. But there is something to say for just completion, for managing to finish. I just, it's raining. Hello, rainstorm. Thank you for making an otherwise dark day even darker. Cactus, cactus, where are you? There's another brown sheep. Holy cow, I'll have tons of brown wool. Ooh, I think I see a desert. I see a lot of sand. That's got to be a desert, right? I don't see a cactus yet. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. All the sand and it's not a desert? No cactus? Come on. Come on. This is ridiculous. How is this not a desert? I demand cactus. Look at all the sand. It's just like one beach next to another. I might still need this, I'm not sure. And I might need to get rid of some gravel in order to pick up ink sacks. Oh, I see some sand. Come on, desert. It's another friggin' beach. Son of a beach. That's kind of pretty. Beaches, but no sand. Or sorry, not but no sand, but no desert. No cactus. Alright, well apparently whatever seed it was I picked at the beginning is a desert-free world. I think the sun is finally going down. I find yet another beach. Yep, the sun is definitely going down. Yet another beach without a desert. All right, I'm pretty sure beds are against the rules, but at this point, I don't really care about the rules or any of that because I've obviously lost. You know, I might manage to complete the challenge, but it's going to be who knows how long forever at this point. Oh, that is actually a desert. You never see sand that high unless it's a desert biome. Okay, 
So I'm finally going to go into the desert and get the cactus that I've been dreaming of for the past half an hour or however long it's been. Yeah, that's too bad I don't have the timer running to know just how abysmal this time for a speed challenge is gone. Oh, this better be a desert and not just a savanna or something. Looks like there might be a desert over there, too. Still haven't seen a cactus anywhere, though. I don't know how it is that finding a desert can be so difficult. Okay, one of these little shrubs means the desert, I think. Just show me a cactus. Show me a cactus anywhere. There's no cactus over here. And that looks like it might just be a little beach. This is crazy. I must have been walking around for, what has it been, like seven weeks now? Pretty sure it's been seven weeks. It's been a long time that I've been walking without encountering a desert. I just want to finish. I just want to get my cactus. Cook, there's a cactus. Oh my gosh. All right, I can cook up the cactus. I can put out all the wool in the daylight and we'll see all the pretty colors. Ah, <sighs> sigh. Sigh, sigh, sigh. All right, so let's plunk down a furnace. Use the one piece of coal I've been saving to cook up the cactus green. And meanwhile, uh, start cooking up I have all these dyes to make a piece of pink wool, and I've got gray wool, and here's some magenta wool. And so what am I missing at this point? I have three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen. Okay, I've got black, I've got gray, I've got white gray, I've got white. Those are the monochromes. I've got the brown. I have purple, magenta, and pink. Oh, I didn't do red and yellow and orange. Ha ha ha. Oops, I don't need a furnace. Ah, come back, red dye. This is the least efficient finish to the least efficient speed challenge ever. Red. Yellow. And orange, the happy bright colors. All right, and so we'll put all these out. Red, yellow, and orange. And there you have it, 16 colors of Minecraft wool. Hooray, hooray. I am done after 17 hours and 42 minutes. I have no idea. I'll have to check the time at the end. Ah, but at least I finished. Bye-bye. So, when it was finally all told, I did finish the speed challenge, but it took me about 58 minutes, uh, which is way, way too long. 30 minutes was the goal. And, but at least I did complete it, and so I'm happy about that after a number of attempts. And I think I might go back and try the speed challenges again, because I find them a lot of fun, and there's something different to do. And so we'll see what I end up doing next.